This is Sound and Vision. I'm Emily Fox. And this month, KEXP is celebrating a key Iaora, which is our version of Latinx Heritage Month. As part of that celebration, I caught up with KXP's Albina Cabrera of our radio show, as well as our podcast called El Sonido. She talked about five artists that are reshaping alternative Latin music right now. Bueno, I have to say first that uh, Aquí Ahora is just one month of celebration, but it's like a kind of excuse to keep sharing music from uh, alternative artists across the globe. So I think that the first one that I'm going to introduce, uh, I we have to say that it's como the main example of being alternative. And we have to travel to the Dominican Republic. We have to say the name Diego Raposo here. Uh, he's a... Uh, music producer, multi-instrumentista, also a DJ from Dominican Republic. And he's part of this like new generation, this new wave of super alternative and experimental music born and raised in Dominican Republic. And uh, he likes to blend sounds uh, of pop, urban, and also electronic music, Afro-Caribbean rhythms. And that's why in this track that I'm going to present called El Underground is featuring Medio Piki, another great producer, multi-instrumentista DJ from Dominican Republic. And together, they made this track number one of uh, Diego Raposo's latest album, Yo No Era Si, Pero Ahora En Adelante Si. So I would like to share this with all of you and welcome to Aquí Ahora. <laughs> That was Diego Raposo with the track El Underground um, featuring Medio Piki. And Albina, what is the next artist that you want to share with us today? Let's go to South America. Let's travel to Colombia, but specifically to Tumaco. This amazing artist called Berito Asprilla. And I picked this specific track called uh, Letras Millonarias because I think that... Um, compile the soul of Berito Esprilla and specifically the music that is um, making waves in Tumaco. Tumaco is a, is a small town in Colombia and Berito Esprilla has just 17 years old. She's super young and she has a million of dreams. So I would like to share with all of you one of her Yes, yeah, first songs, and I will say her first hits, eh, Letras Millonarias from Tumaco, Colombia, to the world. Sigo siempre atento, firme con lo mío. Si Dios me bendice, yo tan bendecido. Si son muy lambones, yo no confío. No busqué la familia, me buscó, pero manía nunca terminó. Quieren bajarme para sentirse superiores, pero a mí me bendice Dios. Lo que quiero son chavos, adiós a los chicos. Ustedes restan y yo multiplico. Los tengo en trancos como la hora pico. Intentan copiar mí, yo se los complico. Yeah. Mami siempre dice que me cuide de todo esto Solo quieren plata y no están pendientes del resto Dicen que fue suerte y que no tengo talento Ni siquiera me he sentado y ya quieren mi puesto And what I love about these songs that you're presenting is they're really spanning genres Exactamente, and it's great that we are making this this clarification because when we think about Latin music, it's still like very monolithic, like the term, and it's good uh, for us to expand and break the borders and trying to say like, hey, yes, can be Latin music also, and we have like a huge industrial rock music scene in uh, South America, or we can still blend in pop with electronic music of Afro-Caribbean rhythms. And uh, that is the point. And so I'm, I'm I'm super happy and I'm very honored to, to be part of Aquí Ahora. And for the third song that I'm going to present, this is part of a new compilation it's Shika Shika meets Bie Records, and it's a compilation between Shika Shika, which is one of 
our favorite labels with global sounds, world music, but specifically tons of Latin American DJs and producers. And B Records is a Chinese based uh, label. And uh, these are like a couple of remixes made uh, both by Chinese artists and also a Latin American artists. And the track that I'm going to present is Ferrocarril uh, by Terro uh, Cactus from Seattle and Paua from Mexico. Uh, but the remix is by Rainsoft, which is a Chinese artist that I really, really like. So I hope that you enjoyed this track, Ferrocarril. And um, I'm really excited to introduce now like something that is completely different. Let's go to something completely different in this track. And uh, we have to um, dive in into the um, experimental waters in uh, Mexico because um, we have a huge new music scene there. And uh, I'm really excited to introduce Amor Muere, which is the new super band made by Mario Frati from Guatemala, Gibrana Cervantes, violinista amazing from Mexico, Concepcion Huerta, and Camille Mandoki. And uh, they are making this experimental music collective called Amor Muere, and they're about to release their debut album, but this is the only track that they have out and I would love to share with all of you. This is Love Dies. And for the last track, um, I want to share a legend here, and we have to travel to Bolivia. When we say Bolivia, we think about Luz Mila Carpio. Luz Mila Carpio is a singer, a composer. She was one of the cultural ambassadors in France, por supuesto, por Bolivia. And um, she dedicates her, her life to music, arts, and culture. And uh, I'm really excited because she's about to release a new album. And I cannot believe that, of course, uh, with the great family of Zeta Zeta K Records. This is Chacana Sagrada, and this is the new music from Luzmila Carpio. <laughs> And what I also was learning um, as, as kind of as you were sending me some songs that you wanted to share today is that Lusmila Carpio is, is she really advocates singing in Quechua, which is, you know, the, the native language of many, including the Inca in South America. And so I thought that was really interesting is, is rather than singing, singing just in Spanish, that she also sings in Quechua. Exactamente, sí, and it's it's a great point what you were saying uh, because she was one of the first artists in Latin America that she traveled around the globe with the indigenous languages and indigenous culture from, in this case, Bolivia, uh, but. Yes, singing in Quechua. And now you, we can see a lot of a new generation of artists and a lot of rappers who are singing in, in sus lenguas indígenas. So it's a total legend and it's a key piece for alternative Latin music, Lumina Carpio, 100%. 
I love it. So, I mean, as you kind of reflect on these five artists that you shared um, with us today, I mean, what do you think it, it is about these artists or these tracks that you really believe are impacting alternative Latin music right now? Like, how do you see this at play? Like, how do you see Latin music changing right now, you know, in part by some of these artists? Yes, because I think that what each artist of this playlist are doing is break the boundaries, break the borders around the term Latin music, a term that was made by the industry now a couple of decades ago, and it's a term that was born here in the United States. So again, it was so monolithic for decades and decades. So you can see Dio Raposo blending up Afro-Caribbean music with electronic and doing something completely different of the idea that maybe the people has about Dominican Republic right now with this dembo or reggaeton. Same with Verito Asprilla from a small city, Tumaco, Colombia, uh, bringing back the hip hop made about uh, uh, young women from Latin America and Afro-Latinas as well. Same with Terro Cactus and Paua who are blending both identities with electronic music and global music as well. Amor Muere, which is the new wave of experimental music that maybe, I don't know if I had the chance to say, oh, yes, we have a, a great experimental music scene in Latin America, and now we can say that. And um, the last example is Mila Carpio, blending the indigenous music and culture uh, with producers and well-known uh, DJs across the globe. And for me, that is revolutionary because, again, it's a new audience that can better understand our culture and also say that, hey, this is not one thing. <laughs> we can basically play hours and hours and years and years of music because it's an entire continent. So that is my idea about breaking boundaries and borders and trying to find a different meaning of Latin music. And that is a part of the work that all of these artists and also all of the music scene here in Seattle, in the Pacific Northwest, in this country and across across the, glo the globe are trying to do is to share something different. And I hope that you can feel that in these five tracks. Well, Bina, thank you so much for your time and sharing this music with us. Muchísimas gracias, Emily. Always a pleasure. Y And that was Sound and Vision. Be sure to check out KEXP's El Sonido podcast with Albina Cabrera. But before you head over there, please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, rate it, and review it. Those little things go a long way in helping spread the word about this show. You can also help financially support Sound and Vision with a one-time $20 donation at kexp.org sound. Thanks for listening.